Hi, uh, our topic for today is making your schedule full. Sunday na ngayon and bukas ko na i-upload yung video. So, sobrang dami ng activities ko this week. Munti ko na makalimutan na mag-video. Yung mga activities ko like reading a book, watching training videos, talking to downlines, training downlines, presenting to prospects. Sobrang dami. And narealize ko, hindi lahat ng mga networkers maayos yung schedule nila. I highly recommend you to get a planner or a notebook or organizer na pwede nyo dun isulat kung ano yung magiging schedule nyo for next week. And I highly recommend, kung ikaw ay part-time, gawin mo yung business for 1 to 2 hours per day, at least 5 times a week. So that's 5 to 10 hours per week. And kung full-time ka naman, 2 to 4 hours per day for 5 times a week. So that's 10 to 20 hours per week. So, nuwari, gagawin natin yung business natin for 1 to 2 hours. Maraming mga, mga tao hindi alam na kung paano gawin productive ang time nila for that straight 1 to 2 hours. Kasi hindi pwede na nagmamarket ka sa Facebook, tapos refresh ka ng refresh ng newsfeed or tingin ka ng tingin ng mga photos ng friends mo and you call that marketing. Hindi ganun. Kailangan straight na 1 to 2 hours na magmamarket ka talaga, kausapin mo yung mga prospects mo, mag-follow up ka. And I highly suggest na during Friday, isulat mo ni schedule mo for next week. Pare, Monday, mag-prospecting ka. And then Tuesday, may invite ka. And then Wednesday, mag-prospecting ka ulit. Pare, wala kang, wala kang prospect. Pwede ka magbasa ng libro or manood ka ng training videos. And then Thursday, mag-prospecting ka or invite. Kung wala ka namang mamimit na prospect or walang papunta sa office niyo or walang makipag-meet up, yun, um, kailangan po na yung schedule mo hanggang Friday. So, for example, meron kang kamit and then na-schedule mo na na Friday, 2 p.m., mag-meet kayo sa mall para may presentan mo siya ng business and then nag-alat ka ng 2 hours for that. And alam naman natin na minsan na Indian talaga tayo. So, pagpunta mo doon sa mall, hindi sumuipot yung prospect mo. So, 2 p.m. and doon ka, meron kang 2 hours na nilibre mo sa schedule mo para kasapin prospect mo na in-Indian ka. So, instead na ang gagawin mo, mag-mauling ka lang, mag-strolling ka, manood ka ng sine, Ang dapat mong gawin is, palitan mo yung activity ng other productive activities. Just like, kausapin mo, downline mo, tawagan mo, i-text mo, mag-follow up ka ng prospects. So, pag inalat mo siya for business, and then in-indian ka ng prospect mo, kailangan ng ipapalit mo activity is for business pa rin. So, yun lang po, and this is a reminder na kailangan yung schedule nyo, yung planner nyo, is marami talaga activities dyan because being busy is different from being productive. Being busy, marami mga tao na mga busy, sa mga walang kabuluhang bagay na hindi naman nakakatulong sa business nila. Pero being productive means na yung, yung pagka-busy mo, ginamit mo siya para mapalago lalo ang business mo. So once again, this is Jester and thank you. So, for many years, nagda-drive ako and recently, nagkaroon ako ng problem kasi conflict yung birth date ko sa license doon sa iba kong valid ID. So, hindi ko siya pwedeng gamitin as a valid ID, yung license ko. 